Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to reading for uh, May 2024. Uh, let's see what is going on for you. Uh, you have this setbacks card. It says taking one step forward to make two steps back. I'm pretty sure you had this card with me before. I think this is what you like have been experiencing is like these setbacks. Um, the problem with this, and not to go on a rant here, but um, you know, I and I, you know, I do want to get these cards out, but I think this is important to spit out before I forget it. Is that you know, I think that this is not happening to you anymore. It's almost like you, sometimes I think we get like spiritual uh, PTSD where we experience something like this in life where we have these setbacks we're working on something and um, you know n then in the future when we try to start something else it's like we're a little bit um, you know we still kind of have that trauma or whatever you want to call it and then we're afraid to get started and I feel like this is saying it's like you're you're not going to have these setbacks anymore we're not still in that old energy so I, f I almost feel that this is more we'll have to see what the cards say here I am babbling and uh, like I haven't even pulled any cards yet but you know we'll have to see but you know, I kind of feel like it's saying the setbacks are over and now it's time to put the work in because you are going to be see results. You have a solitude card. It says achieving great things will be hard and come with some lonely episodes. Retreat into your private world to find answers. So I definitely feel some of you could be, uh, I feel like you're coming off of a period of solitude, which makes sense because uh, we have, we are coming off of the Mercury retrograde. There's only, well, I'm shooting this on the 21st and uh, there's only going to be four more days left of the retrograde. So, you know, again, I feel like some of you could be um, coming off off of that like energy of being in solitude uh, here. I feel like some of you are waiting. I was literally going to say that and you have the hangman here. <laughs> I was going to say, I feel like some of you are waiting to do something uh, to the end of the retrograde, which there's like four more days left. So, I mean, you know, you might as well, right? Uh, but that's kind of like what I feel there. Oh, what do you know? Here you go. Capricorn, you showing up in this reading as well, which is nice. But you start off with the um, Page of Cups, Page of Pentacles, and the Sun. Uh, you know, the Page of Cups could be love. So some of you could be thinking a little bit more about love. Like I've said to you, I think, you know, I think I said this in your 2024 reading. Uh, it is a better love year for you, Capricorn. And like you, so you could be, um, you know, uh, opening up to love or you could be having, you could be feeling like you want love, right? Let's put it that way. Or you could have a stronger desire to be in a connection. And uh, yeah, if you're attracting a person, this looks really good to me. Uh, I think that there's some things that you have to let go of from the past here, but um, you know, for the most part, I think this could be really, really nice for you. Uh, you have the Page of Cups again. I think that, sorry, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> Uh, I think that you have, maybe you have your eye on someone here, or, uh, you know, you could be interested in a person. Page of Pentacles would represent their needing to be communication or need, and you literally end with this card that says communication is key. So like flirting or talking or something like that. I don't even know where this person would be coming from yet. Um, you have the sun here and you have a star, which is like fame and fortune. I'm not saying it's like a famous person, but whenever I have a reading that talks a little bit about love, at least if like the sun and the star come up, it tells me that you already know who this person is. So again, there definitely could be love coming in for you here, or you already have your eye on a person. Uh, you have the page of pentacles. Uh, page of pentacles is like good news or something good coming in for you. I feel strangely positive about this for money as well. So I'm getting something about money here, even though we don't see a ton of money in your reading, although there is a little bit of stuff and we're gonna clarify, we'll see what comes up. Um, but I kind of feel that if you are like working on any new projects or whatever, I, I do feel a couple of things here. Number one, if you're working on something new, like a new job or a new project or new business, new career, uh, I feel like there needs to be like a little bit more focus. And I also feel like you should build up, it's almost like I see you kind of like building up to it. I I, I have no clue what I'm trying to say here, but it's it, it's almost as if, um, you know, it's like maybe you haven't been making as much progress as you want. I almost feel like you need to kind of like develop a little bit of a daily routine to get to work. But at the same time, it's like maybe you don't know what like what your routine should be. And I feel like this is saying like start with one thing one day and, you know, do that every day for a week and then add something else. Like I, I see you kind of like adding up a daily routine, especially in work or business. It's almost as if you are becoming more efficient, which is going to make you more successful, which is good. You have the sun. The sun, of course, is a card of happiness, joy, um, positive energy. I kind of just feel that you are stepping into the sun as well. Like I said, you have that solitude card, Mercury retrograde. It's like you're stepping out into the light. You're um, making yourself known or you're kind of um, presenting yourself to the world, When, especially when we have something like solitude to the sun, right? Uh, let's see. Uh, with the Page of Cups, you have the Knight of Wands. Um, Knight of Wands is about needing to go on an adventure, which I'm a big fan of everyone going on adventures right now. Uh, these could be mental adventures as well. So it's like if you're learning something new or if you're coming up with new ideas, I think that um, 
you know, putting work into those things could be a good idea. You could be attracting a fire sign, could be any sign. You have basically everything here. Uh, I kind of feel like you're attracting like a little bit of a rebel. <laughs> so, there's This is like a rebel with a cause is what I would say. You know how they say rebel without a cause. I think that you could be attracting, you know, someone who is like a little bit of a rebel with a cause. You know, they, they maybe this is a person who is like unconventional or lives their life in a different way or something. But it's like, I think they have a purpose, you know, well, let's put it that way. Uh, with the Page of Pentacles, you have the King of Cups. Yeah, it could be a water sign. I'm pretty sure you showed up in Cancer's reading. Um, maybe it was Cancer. I don't remember, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, you know, I think that it could be just a person. Uh, King of Cups would also be a person uh, who has very stable emotions. Uh, I also feel that you have very stable emotions right now. He is sitting in the middle of the ocean, and he's got choppy water all around him, but he is perfectly fine. So no matter what is going on around you, this says that you, um, you are going to be perfectly stable. With the sun, you have the five of pentacles here. I'm uh, Whenever I get something like this, it kind of tells me that you could be attracting a person who has been through something similar to you. So, uh, you know, if you were left out in the cold, you could be attracting a person who was also left out in the cold, or you could be attracting a person who also went through something very similar to like what you went through in love, you know, or something like that. <laughs> and so I kind of get that here. I, I think I've also said this to Scorpio, which you say you have Scorpio right here. So, you know, you could be attracting a person with Scorpio in their chart or someone who is a Scorpio. Uh, like I said, I literally, I feel it could be any sign for you, Capricorn. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. As I always say, I think that we shouldn't even worry about sun sign. Um, compatib I think sun sign compatibility is absolute BS. I can, for every single person that says like, oh, Capricorn and Scorpio would never work. I can, there, I, like, there are like 10 couples that have been together forever that work, right? So, um, you know, what I would say here is it's better to just find a good person who puts in the work and there you go. Uh, next in the area of the unexpected, you have this high honor card. It says promotion, a raise, success, award, recognition. Uh, you've been doing work for many, many years uh, on yourself or developing something behind the scenes. Now it's time for you to put yourself out there. I always say, Capricorn, that's time for you to like swim in the deep end. You've been like in the shallow end learning how to swim. I, I say this to you every single reading now, <laughs> but that's literally how I see it. It's like, you're like the little kid that's like, mom, mom, look at me, look at me. I can dive into the deep end, right? It's like, but you actually have to do it. So I think that it's time for you to, you know, swim in the deep end. You have to improve that you can do something, which you can very clearly, but you have to do it. You have this divine support card. It says guidance, angels. Um, no, it says angelic signs, higher self, synchronicities, deeper purpose. I think that you could be noticing a lot of synchronicities as well. And I do feel that we are in a very spiritual time. So you could be being guided towards success or towards like bigger and better things. Uh, you have the hangman, the ten of swords, and the six of cups. I do feel like some of you went into hangman hermit mode. I, I would I would put those two things together, hermit like hermit mode and hangman mode together. And I feel that um, maybe you were processing something. Some of you have clearly been processing a person who stabbed you in the back. I kind of feel like some of you have gone through something that has been harder to heal from, or you know, has taken longer to heal from. But now I feel you have the enlightenment. You know, his head is glowing on the hangman and he understands things uh, from, from like a new perspective or a new level. He's seeing things from a new perspective. And uh, that new perspective is what allows him to move forward and also leads to success for the hangman. Uh, you have the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords says no doubt about it, like someone could have stabbed you in the back or you could have experienced a stab in the back situation. I kind of feel, you know, he's making the symbol right there above my finger there uh, with his hands. And that symbol is the same symbol that the Hierophant is making with his hands. And it represents a blessing. So I kind of feel that you're seeing how something that didn't work out is actually a blessing in disguise. And what you're heading towards is something much, much better, right? Uh, you have the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups can represent, uh, you know, kind of like nostalgia, thinking about the past. It can, it's also my card of like a soulmate. So if you are attracting love, I really do feel you are attracting like a solid, you know, soulmate, whatever you want to call it. I feel it's like very lighthearted, playful in a good way, you know, lighthearted, playful connection. A lot of people seem to be getting this, um, you know, like more lighthearted, playful connections, which I think is a good thing. It's not that it's not serious. It's more... Um, that it's just more playful, lighthearted, you know, and not so serious <laughs> is what I would say. So I think this is kind of like a good thing for you. Uh, let's see. 
Uh, with the Hangman, you have the Knight of Cups. Clearly, this reading is about love. So, Knight in Shining Armor. Uh, there definitely could be a Knight in Shining Armor. It definitely could be a water sign, or I would say it's someone who has water in their chart. Uh, if you have water in your chart, I think that that is, then this is definitely extra true for you here, Capricorn, that it could be a water sign. Uh, it, it would just make sense to me. You know, it would make sense to me as well to see, uh, um, you know, to see like a Capricorn with a bunch of water in their chart end up with a water sign, right? That makes sense to me. So, uh, that could happen here. Uh, could be any sign. And with the Ten of Swords, you have the Tower. I definitely feel someone caused a Tower moment in your life. I feel like this is kind of like that energy of almost being like super naive. Like if I put myself in your shoes, I'm not calling you naive here. I'm just saying like sometimes I think we get hurt by a person and we almost are like, how did we not see that? <laughs> you know, and that's what I mean by naive. It's like maybe you just didn't see something with a person. It really shook your foundation. And so I don't really get like a tower moment here. And the beautiful thing about this reading is you have the star. Uh, this is what we want in a tarot reading is we want the star to come up after the tower it says that we're healing from a tower moment. So that really confirms to me that you're healing. But again, I, I kind of feel like maybe you felt like naive or you felt like, like, how did I not see this? How could I not be aware of this, right? But I think this is something that made you stronger. I mean, you're showing up here as the queen of wands and it doesn't matter what gender you are. I feel like the queen of wands is just saying that you're, you know, that's just like the energy that you're embracing right now. And, you know, I think that you learned a lot from a situation, but it definitely was like a surprise, right? Uh, with the Six of Cups, you have the Page of Wands. I think you're going to have to go on an adventure to meet this person. We're in a time of adventure. You know, we have to get out of the house. I say it all the time. So if you want something, I think you have to go and get it with the Page of Wands. Page of Wands also says like your enthusiasm, your excitement is leading you to something. Like literally, if you feel excited about something, move towards it. You know, whether it's a person, place, or a thing, start learning more about it. You know, people always say to me, well, I'm excited about, you know, moving to um, Russia but I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't afford it. I'm like, well, that, that's fine, right? Start exploring it, start learning about it, start, um, you know, kind of learning the ins and outs of it and start, you know, learning the Russian language or whatever the case may be. So um, I'm sure someone's gonna leave a Putin comment on my, on my videos now and say that I'm a Russian chill. I do not support any country at all, period. There you go. If you leave the comment, I'm gonna ban you as well. So uh, let's, let's end that right now. But what I would say here is it could be any country, whatever, whatever country makes you happy. And, um, you know, what I would say is start learning about it. Start um, exploring it. It doesn't even have to be about moving. This could be about you starting a business. It could be about about you, um, you know, learning how to love a person. Whatever it is, I would do it. You literally go to the justice card here. And the justice card is cause and effect. It says, if you start tilting the scales in your favor, they will tilt in your favor. But we have to like start stacking weight on the right side of the scale to get the scale to tilt in our favor. And that's why I would encourage you to like adventure and make something happen. Uh, next, you, in the area of what's coming towards you, you have this Quincunx card, it says tension. You also have this Capricorn card, it says achieve. I think Capricorns do achieve a lot of good stuff under tension, right? <laughs> it's like when the chips are down, that's when Capricorn really shines. Like, you know, when, when, when things get really hard, that's when Capricorn you know, kind of really shines and does their best. So, you know, maybe for some of you, there has been tension in your life or you have experienced something that has held you back a little bit, but that could also be the thing that is, you know, kind of like motivating you to success, right? Uh, you have the death card, the justice card, and the queen of wands. Uh, the death card is, of course, a card of transformation. So I do feel like a lot of you could be undergoing some sort of transformation at this time. And, um, you know, I feel that this transformation could be in any area of your life. I feel like you actually feel kind of a weird message, but, and this is going to sound lame, I know, but I, I, like, I feel like you feel like things are actually changing. It's like sometimes, you know, things are changing, but we don't really feel it. And we don't really feel motivated because of that. And I get this sense of motivation. And maybe that's why you have that achieve card here is because it's saying that you are feeling motivated to change. And that's a good thing. Uh, you have the justice card. I do feel some of you could be kind of like getting karma or seeing someone get their karma. Kind of makes sense to me. In between eclipses, end of a retrograde as well. It's like, you know, again, it, the retrograde ends in uh, four days. It's the uh, April 21st right now. So it ends on the 25th. And it's like, sometimes I think after the retrograde, like May, uh, that's when we could see someone like getting their uh, karma or we could be hearing about it or something like that. Uh, this also might not be that. You might not see anything, but you might be getting your karma in another way. Like you could be attracting a really solid person. You could be getting some sort of gift from the universe. And that's kind of what I see here. Uh, but more importantly than that, I, I feel like the um, the justice card is saying that you have to do things to tilt the scales in your favor. And that's what I would do here. 
Uh, you have the Queen of Cups, uh, or sorry, Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is about being bold, being assertive, uh, really going for something. So I feel if there's anything that you want right now that you're really, you really need to kind of like go for it, right? But let's see what's going on here. Uh, with the Death card, you have the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is about needing to set yourself free um, from something. Eight of Swords is about only seeing one way of doing things when there are many ways to do things. So I think you need to like open up to all the ways there are to do pretty much anything that you want to do. With the Justice card, you have the Temperance card. Temperance is like patience, but it's also about like uh, cause and effect as well, kind of. Kind of like the Justice card is cause and effect. Um, you know, with the Justice card, we need to pay attention. If we do something, like what's the result we get? Uh, same, kind of the same thing with the Temperance card because, you know, he's pouring water back and forth between those two cups, trying to turn water into wine, but he needs to pay attention to the progress that he's making. And I do feel this right here, this right here is probably the most important part of your reading, but I also feel it's saying pay attention to progress. Pay it even if it's very small. Pay attention to the forward moves that you're making. With the Queen of Wands, you have the Five of Swords. Definitely time to take some sort of risk. The we go down <laughs> like like this through the Tower of Ten of Swords. Queen of Wands, she is a card of risk taking. You might be saying why? Well, she has no salamanders on her cloak and all the wands court cards have sal salamanders on their cloaks salamanders represent protection from fire and she is the only card the only wands court card that does not have salamanders on her card or her cloak and it basically says that she is not protected from fire like the you know page knight and the king are protected from fire so I, it, she is not protected from risk but the whole point is is that she has a sunflower here and the sunflower says that she is allowing her joy, happiness to guide her. She is following the sun. She is following her enthusiasm, her what things that make her feel happy. So that's what she is trusting, right? And I think that the Queen of Wands is my card of learning as you go, which I think Capricorn is really good at. And this is saying like, there's something you want in life. I feel like you have to go and get it and you also have to learn as you go. Just that simple, right? <laughs> uh, you have, at the end for the good stuff, you have this balanced spirituality and practicality. Yeah, I think it's a good time to mix both together. You have this new moon in Gemini. It says communication is key. Yeah, I think whatever you're trying to do, that uh, communication is gonna be the thing that sets you free or gets you uh, what you want here. I think yeah, that you are very sure of something you start with the Seven of Wands, and the Seven of Wands is a card of conviction. It says when you know that you know that something is for you, then it's for you. It's a card of believing something so deeply that you make it that you make something happen, basically. So I feel that you are very committed, or you will be very committed uh, to making something happen with this energy. Uh, you have the Four of Pentacles. Uh, Four of Pentacles is a card of kind of like holding on too tightly to something, but it's coming up in the good stuff. I feel pretty good about this. I think that you could be definitely stabilizing your finances. Uh, personally, I think it's a pretty good year for you for finances. And I would do whatever you, again, I would pay attention to cause and effect. Like if, if I do this activity, do I get a better result financially? And this could be in work, in business, even if you're retired, this could have to do with like your investments, your spending habits. It's like, what makes it go up, right? That's what she said. Also, I would pay attention to things that make your money go up. And, you know, that could be anything. It's like, maybe you, you start working extra hours. Um, but although I wouldn't necessarily be thinking harder, I would be thinking smarter. I would be doing something that kind of, um, you know, is more efficient. I would be paying attention to efficiency. That's what uh, this wants right here. So, you know, are there things that you can do that would make your financial life easier? The answer is yes, you just have to find it. You have the star, definitely a healing period for you. And again, a lot of people have been getting the sun and the star in their reading. So I kind of feel like we're entering into, you know, we're entering into the summer. I, I literally do feel the energy this summer is just much better uh, in general. So there could just be more happiness, more joy, uh, you know, more good things happening for people this summer. Uh, with the seven of wands, you have the page of swords. Page of swords, again, we see a lot of curiosity in the reading. One, two, three pages, four pages. I lied, all four, <laughs> all four pages. So you are clearly curious about something and I feel like you need to explore. You just need to start exploring what you're curious about or something that you're curious about. Uh, with the four of pentacles, you have the nine of swords, love it. Uh, again, this is coming up in the good stuff, which is great. This to me says that you are ending a nightmare or you know maybe you have some sort of never ending nightmare that you are bringing to an end, which is a good thing. With the star, you have the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles, card of quality work. Um, Three of Pentacles says that you create, that you, wh whatever you are doing, you are creating quality. Uh, this could also say that you are getting attention. 
uh, for the work that you're doing. So whatever you are doing in your life, you could be getting a lot of attention uh, with that star card. And uh, that looks amazing to me. Uh, so let's see, you have this uh, clouds card says temporary problems. I think you're overcoming temporary problems based off the beginning of the reading. It's like things are, I do literally feel things are starting to get better. Uh, you have this boot card says increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. Yes, yes. Uh, you have this achieve card. <laughs> I think you are achieving great things here, Capricorn. You have this butterfly, it says a change for the better. And uh, I think a lot of your readings have been saying that there is a change for the better coming. So there you go. You have this tulip, it says great passion. If you're attracting a person, I think there will be a lot of passion between you and this person. So definitely a very solid connection. Uh, you have this not card, it says unsuccessful plans. I think like, uh, like don't try to like force things to work either. If there are things that are clearly not working, justice, cause and effect. If one way to do something doesn't work, try something else. Eight of swords, literally. Same, literally, that's what it means. So, you know, I would pay attention to those rules. But this looks really good here, Capricorn. So thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. And definitely enjoy your month.